Hi, and welcome to the most creative and weird channel on YouTube. It is your odd makeup artist friend, Cat Sketch, to bring you another video. You guys requested this, an anime girl step-by-step -step tutorial without contact lenses, so let's go. Subscribe for more videos like this. We do two videos a week here, every Monday and Friday, doing beauty makeups, body paintings, effects videos. So hit the notification bell for some more. Also friends, sorry I've been a little bit MIA on here. Honestly, there's been so many things going behind the scenes and projects I've been doing and I've been trying to juggle them all at once, but I heard you rang for me. I picked up the phone and we are going to dial back and give you this makeup tutorial that you requested of like the anime e-girl soft girl. There's so many labels to this, but who cares about the labels? Let's just do an anime e-girl makeup without contact lenses as best as I can. I broke it down to seven steps for you. So anyone could do this with basic beauty makeup. Let's go. If you have a wig or not, you do not need one, but I have one of my absolute favorite wigs ever. It is a purple lavender wig I featured on here so many times from everydaywigs.com. It is one of my favorites. So that's why I am putting on a wig cap today. I might also talk a little bit of sprinkles here and there of anxiety because I've been going through it. You know, all your hopes and dreams, you like want more things and opportunities to do and then they all come at once and you're flooded with all these doubts about yourself and you can't sleep at night and you're like, what is this world? That's where I'm at right now. I've been barely sleeping, but I heard that these dark circles under my eyes are actually trending. So there you go. Who would have known? So I prepped my skin with my favorite primer. This is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. All the other ones honestly have been working on me, not at all, just literal trash on my skin. I've tried the Milk Hydro Grip. I've tried the e.l.f. Pore Putty. I've tried Tatcha. Just everything is just like breaking up things, not working, except this one. What does that say about it? I'm guessing good. I've also been telling you guys so much about the Oma Beauty Foundation. It, it literally looks like I stole it from someone's garbage, but um, that's because I use it so much and I'm running out. And I told you guys about it so much. So if you're spurting, it's because I'm running out, that these are sold out everywhere on Oma Beauty's website at Ulta.com. Anywhere they sell this, I've checked. They're out. Makes me sad. So the first step when you want to do the East Girl, Soft Girl, Anime Girl, Anime, anime. Makeup look is you are going to need glue. If you want to cut your eyebrows in half, you can because we need our eyebrows to go straight. We need our eyebrows to look like straight up fighting tools like swords. That's what I need. So I'm gonna hide the edges of my brows by flattening them down with just some glue stick and powder. Simple as that. Now, in order to hide the edges of my brows even more, we're still on the first step, I'm gonna color correct. Not only that, but these bags, these luxury dark circle, dark under eye bags, I am going to get my color corrector. This is my favorite. This is the Charlotte Tilbury color corrector, is it? Again, I'm gonna put the products, all of them, that I list down below in the description box. I love this stuff because you can use it just every day without any other makeup. If you want just like color correct see this old age spot that's what it is sun damage old age uh, it just where to go just I love this stuff and I'm gonna put at the tail end of my brows before I conceal those just to make it look like I had an accident with my razor blade in the shower this morning but we're gonna make it look cute in a way it's hard to explain you'll have to see well if you saw my other video and you requested this anime e-girl without contact lenses, then you'll understand how this process kind of goes a little bit. Step two, foundation. I use a booty blender, makeup sponge, anything you want to use, a brush to pat in your foundation on my holy grail that I need to just use one dime size P amount of this for the rest of my life because it always sells out and it's not cheap. The Oma Beauty is so good because they put skincare in this foundation and it shows because this blends out like a beauty it's just so good every time i use this people are like what the heck are you wearing and i'm like oh 
Oh, it's this stuff. It's gorge. Just look at the difference from this. To... You can build it. It's like medium to full. I love it. It can do it all. You can shear it down with some moisturizer. Yes, I foundation my ears. I'm a weirdo. I'm a freak. All right, we're still on the brows and foundation, but we're gonna grab concealer. Why buy expensive concealer when you can get the e.l.f. camo concealers? I get hydrated, you can get original. This stuff is so freaking bomb. It's so good. I don't know why I would ever spend a lot of money on concealer unless it just like hid every wrinkle on my face and body. Like I put concealer on my body. I don't even wanna imagine that. What the heck? Anyways. Just, this is like so bomb. I absolutely love it. I mean, any concealer that's like under 12 bucks that you get at the drugstore and looks this good is like a crime in itself. Like, I just can't believe that this exists. You know what I mean? Just like I can't believe that my anxiety still exists after living with it since I was four years old. What? Hi, if you haven't seen me on this channel, I have anxiety from a lot of abuse in my past physically and sexual abuse since I was four years old in high school as well into my adult life. It's been odd. So I cope with it with makeup <laughs> like that works. I don't suggest that. I would suggest going to a professional if you could afford therapy. Can I afford therapy? I don't think so. But can I afford this $38 foundation? Maybe. No. All jokes aside, therapy, it's good for you. I would suggest it powdering that just to set it all. This is the RCMA No Color Powder. Let's dive right into contour and highlight. Yes, I count that as one step. They come hand in hand. We could split into two, whatever you wanna do. This is still gonna be under 10 steps. You know how people come on YouTube and they cake like all these liquid contours and highlights and bronzers and like concealers that are three shades lighter, concealers that are three shades darker and then their skin tone concealer? Well, I just use my skin tone concealer and then I get a highlighting powder in a like light yellow tone. This is like a pale girl's banana powder. And I start highlighting where my eye bags are just to make it not seem like I'm dead inside. That my soul isn't escaping my body because I get no sleep. And this is just so much easier than kicking on so many layers for, of concealer for me in my opinion you can even take it up the bridge of your nose where we're gonna even contour more later i'm annoying myself anyways we're also gonna do it here but the anxiety has been getting so bad that i can't even run to get my cbd gummies in time and watch bob's burgers like that's how i cure everything it's either ran to my absolute best friend or and <laughs> i should say watch a show that reminds me of her, which is Bob's Burgers. And um, just make a handful concoction of CBD gummies that I run out so quickly on because I'm always having anxiety. Because I put too much pressure on myself, to be honest. So I even do it a little bit above the brow and I bring it, you want the bridge of your nose to be highlighted. And I even like to do this as a highlight too, the chin. Cause I got an okay chin, but I want it to stand out more to look anime. And I do here too. It's like, where do I not highlight? All right, now that we have the highlight down, we're gonna contour. This is one of my favorite contour palettes from Lunatic Cosmetic Labs. This is volume one. They have two volumes now. It's one of my favorites because they have blushes, highlights, contours that are both warm and cool. Just it's everything that I ever dreamed of. We're gonna do some contour now. Make it look like we've got cheekbones. And we're gonna get that shin. Also, I contour the sides a little bit because again, my face is rotund. You could even go in with a big powder brush and blend it all. Speaking of contour, you could totally skip this step, but I'm not. Uh, we're gonna contour our nose and have it snatched to the heavens. I wanna look like one of those characters from like those weird I am view weird games we played when we were younger that you find online. Do you remember Tekken? I want to look like one of those people. Kidding. Not in real life at all, but we just want to look like a cartoon. I, I'm trying to not look real. 
Again, you can get your powder brush and blend the sides of that. A powder brush way too big that looks like you're smashing your eyeballs into your actual skull so that you have no soul anymore. Kidding, but why am I... Why do I just pinch big brushes and go like this when I just don't get a smaller brush? I have so many brushes. Why am I like this? So let's jump right back to brows because we're not done snatching them to make them look like arrows that are directional. I'm getting my baby hair brow pencil from Oma Beauty. They have the best, finest tip, precise eyebrow pencil I've ever found in the industry so far. And you want your eyebrows to look like they're about to fly away. Have them straight, which actually pains my soul because I like angled, thick brows, as weird as that sounds. You wanna look like your mother just spit on her fingers and went like this, out and up, like a V shape on your brows and they permanently stuck like that. You want it to look like your brows are running away because they're scared to get canceled next on YouTube. I'm starting to look like unisexy, which I love. I kind of look masculine. I look like a confused male pop star. We need to fix this ASAP. So how I'm gonna fix it is I'm gonna get some concealer with brush, an angled brush and just clean it up. That looks so much better this side than this side. So we're gonna fix that. All right, and we powder and go on to the next step because I literally look like a cartoon. Alrighty. Now that our eyebrows look like they could slice through butter, I'm gonna get some blush and now it's time to, ooh, woo! <laughs> blush your face, your nose, and on your cheeks, like literally directly under your eye on your cheek area. This is what's gonna really make it e-girl anime girl and on the top of the lip so that it can blend nicely into whatever lip color you're gonna do. I'm gonna do the bottom too. We look sick. <laughs> like I literally look like I'm sick. I'm gonna get my taco eyeshadow palette. Now you could do eyeshadow and liner or just straight up liner with more blush. You don't need literally any eyeshadow whatsoever. But you know me, when I get the opportunity to be the most, I'm gonna be the most. I'm gonna get green tones because the wig I'm gonna use today is purple. And when I'm choosing colors for these looks, I like to use complementary colors. So I'm using this electric neon green that looks like literal toxic waste chemical plant. Reminds me of Springfield and the Simpsons nuclear waste plant. And that's literally what I want. It's giving me like, Beetlejuice vibes to the max, like pop art Beetlejuice. I'm getting a lighter minty green, just to blend as a transition shade. Gonna get Mary Jane by ColourPop and put that in the inner corner. This is probably one of my all time favorite eyeshadow colors. And I use it a lot on very bold makeup looks as highlighter of all things. Now that you have enough green to make the Grinch jealous and to look like a 7-Up ad, we are gonna get two, three different eyeliners. We're gonna use white and black. I'm gonna use white on the outer and inner of the waterline. If you do squeamish to do the waterline, it's totally fine. You don't have to do this. And then with black eyeliner, we're just gonna do under our pupil, our iris of our eye right here to make our I extend a little bit right in the middle of the waterline right there again you don't have to do this you could skip this step but it just looks bomb when we're done getting some matte black eyeshadow and a little angled brush I'm just gonna do it under all that we just did connecting it to that middle part under that white connecting it to the middle black again you don't have to do all of this we're just having some options that aren't contact lenses and that's fun with makeup all right, now for some black eyeliner. I like Aqua Cake Hydro Liners. You can use whatever gel liner. My favorite gel liner is Ofra's Flex Line. Fix Line eyeliner, it's great. But we don't have to get fancy here. We could just do a thick black liner. I start off with this line first, right? Connecting it to the bottom. And then I just go from this outer line in like that. And we're just gonna fill the rest in. Wow, is this Slytherin or what? I feel like she goes alt daughter. With our eyeliner, you can even like fill in the ends of your brows and just make it more detailed and sharper. Places you feel like you need more hairs. I'm just filling in my list with some more concealer. You can even get an eyeliner pin and do some lines here for more fake lashes. We're gonna put lashes on too. Or if you don't like fake lashes, this is a great alternative. I'm also gonna get some white glitter and put it on the inner corner parts right here, just to make it pop. 
And I'm gonna get my all-time favorite highlighter, which is Flexitarian by ColourPop. I'm just gonna dust that on areas I usually highlight, which is the brow bone or my new brow bone, because I made my old brows disappear. On my nose, it's not a cat sketch video without a Cupid's Bow highlight that's extreme. That looks like I'm sweating from my nostrils. And the cheekbones, of course. And a little bit on the chin. Before doing lashes and lips, I'm gonna get some yellow eyeliner. Again, this is optional, but it just sounds fun. I just get these thin brushes from art supply stores, and I'm gonna do some really cute stars. Then a straight up drawn looking star here. Now lashes and lips. Of course, we're gonna prep our lashes for some false ones. And if you guys have any tips on how to help myself calm down and fall asleep and not have anxious thoughts at night, that's when I have the most. It's terrible. I've had it my whole life and uh, still not as bad as when I was a kid, but when I do get it now, it's, it's real bad. It's not as often as when I was a kid, but when it does happen, oof. Not pretty. One of my absolute favorite things is this Chinese YouTuber. I watch her to calm down while taking bubble baths. I'll link her channel down below and she's like on a homestead farm, cooks for her grandmother. It's amazing. Another thing I love to do other than, of course, the CBD gummies and Bob's Burgers, but I love to uh, listen to this Nightscape YouTube video. And it is of like hooting owls and crickets in the forest. Amazing. Okay, I put my eyeliner higher to Jesus and um, I am going to put on some eyelashes, false ones. I like Violet Voss ones for these because they're so spiky and thick. They remind me of anime girls. And I'm using the style Vampress for this look today. And just, I might even layer on more lashes than this because you could go above and beyond to infinity and beyond just like Buzz Lightyear said. Especially with this thick aligner, who's gonna know if you have one, three, or 12 eyelashes on? Who's gonna know? For the lip combo, I like to put a little bit of like a pinky tone or mauve tone just in the middle and get your finger to blend it out. Then I get a gloss, put it over it. Then I get a little bit of this green glitter on the lips as well. And now that our look is finished, I'm gonna put on my purple wig. This is like my favorite wig I've ever owned so far. I have to clip back some of her bang. This wig has been through it. I love it so much, I feel like getting another one that's exact, literally the same, just as a backup. And we're not done yet. If you wanna go above and beyond style, we could put on some cat ears. These were in a PR package from Milk like five million years ago. Hopefully it works for this. So that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun filming this. Leave a comment down below. Again, if you have any tips for anxiety for me and anyone else who is watching this, this was so much fun. Subscribe for more videos like this. We need two videos a week every Monday and Friday here on this channel. I love coming here with you guys and just ranting and having so much fun escaping the world with you all. And I will see you guys very soon with another video. Bye.